Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server on the free-to-play account. And that is right, guys, the Bountiful Trials of Fane are up. Guys, we know super powerful support Graveborn hero. As we're getting in here, we are going to make sure that we finish these out. Make sure you do the guild trials, guys. You get free diamonds out of this one. Do not pass up your free diamonds. Um, it is very imperative that you do pick those up. So starting over to our left, this one, interesting combination. So we're going to be running Eron with Grez. And then we're going to run, of course, um, Zekas, Fane in the bottom, and we're going to run Oden in the middle. I love the Oden Fane combination in here. Um, very strong to run together. Look at the Bone Prison, guys. It is massive. And Oden, of course, is going to relocate heroes right to the back, meaning it's going to be easy to crowd control and keep these heroes actually locked down in the very back. Doing, I mean, one point or 591 million right there. Not that much damage, but overall, guys, again, he is support. So second battle is going to remain the same. Iran is going to pull everyone in or attempt to pull everyone in. But you can see Oden just locked them back. Those rollers, guys, really important when it comes to the damage that they're putting out. Zekas, not a hero that a lot of players use. But again, keeping them all locked in with those rollers and also the bone prison. Very cool to see there. Doing a lot of damage with Oden, guys. That is one of the primary reasons why we say to build Oden and build Oden early is he is super strong. Now this one, again, another interesting one. We have Titus and we have Lorzen. So again, interesting combination. We have Pippa and we have Zap. I love Zap. The Zap um, formation with Fane is gonna be huge, guys. You can see Zap goes straight into the Bone Prison. Um, we have Pippa back here, which of course is gonna relocate them are right to the bone prison. Lorzen is going to link them together, allowing you to do more damage, which again, right into that bone prison. All right, same exact formation. Boom, Zap goes right there. It's going to be the same effect when you look at Treznar. Treznar is going to go right to this back row. Um, super important to have him. The Graveborn Invade team might be born of this just because Fane is such a powerful hero within this back row. Then the final one, guys, one of my absolute favorite, which I would love to see, the utility. So we have Torn and we have Hendrik for the knockback. We have Kren for the lockdown. Haley is for the buffs. Then, of course, Fane for the entire back row lockdown. Look at it. Pushing them right into the traps. Keeping them locked down to the back. Hendrik even right there. Um, keeping everyone locked to the back, guys. Kren and Fane are really going to go together like peanut butter and jelly. Um, uh, my honest opinion, it is going to be such a very cool combination of heroes that we're going to see within AFK Arena. Again, it, it's going to be super interesting to see. Um, Helios, I like in this formation too, provides a lot of shields within there. And boom, everybody is locked. All five of the heroes die right in the back line. Four million damage there to Kren, which will conclude the Arena of Trials, guys. We'll go ahead and we'll pick up our chest, run through the skills and abilities for Fane. He is such a strong hero. Um, that, that's one thing that I love to do, guys, making sure that you know exactly what he does. Ultimate ability, very cool, but it is not impressive whatsoever. It is an ability that is kind of short-lived. Um, lowering the attack rating, um, can, if the effect prematurely ends, it will immediately deal damage. The Bone Prison is really the big thing. If the Bone Prison exists on the battlefield, duration is extended. You want to keep up the Bone Prison. That is really the big thing there. When the control effect again ends, it will do damage. And then the health or energy is only going to be prevalent in the campaign. But this is going to be a really big piece when it comes to the PvP, is not being able to get health or energy. Now, Prisoner of Despair, this is the Bone Prison, guys. This is the main thing. 30 seconds since on the battlefield. We do have a couple things also that are going to extend it to 35 seconds. We've seen right here, it can extend the bone prison furniture, extend the bone prison. We're trying to keep this thing up as much as possible and really lock heroes within there. If there's enemies outside of the bone prison, they're going to lose haste. They're also going to have um, energy redu recovery reduced by 40% when in the bone prison. That is the reason we want to keep them there. Um, they will also have a massive energy reduction which again i love soul impaler enemies outside of the bone prison will be pulled into it which again the crowd control of locking everyone in there enemies cannot move for the following three seconds when they get pulled in here 
So if anyone does happen to escape, you can bring them right back, which I love. And each time you impale an enemy, the unscrupulous jailer cooldown is reset, which we see right here, guys. So every time you pull an enemy in with that plus 30 engraving, you're going to be able to roll these gigantic logs back in there doing damage and also with that plus 60 engraving guys enemies struck by rolling logs are terrified for four seconds this is going to be a chain reaction crowd control if you're using it with a soul impaler this is going to continue to roll gigantic logs in there running over the enemies doing an incredible amount of damage now looking in here guys signature item each time an ally enters and leaves the prison they're granted a shield so we seen Zafrio entered the prison, he picked up a shield, he teleported out to do his ultimate ability, losing his shield or, or keeping the shield, um, but going outside of the prison. When he teleports back in, it's going to be the exact same. So each time they enter, again, they get a solid shield. When entering or leaving, the majority of debuffs are removed, which is good. Then of course the plus 30 guys, every eight seconds the enemy is in the bone prison. This is the big one. Crit amplification is permanently reduced. Now, Kren is going to be outside of this bone prison. He's going to be doing a ton of damage. Crit damage resistance is permanently reduced by six points, guys. That means Kren is going to be doing an amazing amount of crit damage right there. Same with Zafriel. Same with a lot of heroes that are going to be in here. I was even thinking in some formations where you could actually utilize Nara to pull a hero outside of there um, on the other side, just so the Soul Impaler ability will bring them back in. Again, it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how this rolls out and how tough he really is going to be. Duration of Bone Prison extended by five seconds for every enemy that dies within it. So again, if you're looking at the 35 seconds, and then you also do have an additional duration depending on what happens within the battle. Most of the battles within AFK Arena are not going to last that long, so you can actually um, kind of rely on this. You figure you already have 35 seconds, not including anything else, guys. 35 second Bone Prison baseline, extending this out, you know, time and time again, so you could get this for a significant amount of time. Then, of course, guys, Fane receives 10% less damage for each enemy within his Bone Prison, meaning if he's frontline and you start all five heroes he's gonna get a 50% reduction to the damage that he's taking, which is the exact same duration or the exact same damage reduction that we see with Kren, um, allowing his survivability to really go through the roof. Then you couple the engraving with him, just like we talked about a minute ago. Um, each time you successfully impale the enemy, so every time you use this, it is going to reset the logs. When the logs are reset, enemies are going to be terrified again with the rolling logs on um, his ability. So guys, that'll do it for the Trials of Fane the Wicked Warden. Very cool here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.